Hey, welcome to the channels. Greetings, salutations, and thank you for watching. So today we are going out on Lake Waco in the kayak. I did get a new battery. I went down and just bought a brand new battery because my old batteries don't seem to be holding a charge. So I did test the fish finder before we left the house and it works so there's no bad connections so it's got to be bad batteries so i did do that so we're gonna go down here to i believe it's called twin bridge and we're gonna try it out we're gonna try some crappie down there uh we're gonna <laughs> battery died good thing i brought the extra so we're gonna go try uh, an alcove back here and gonna try for some bass uh, I'm gonna try that build dance uh, lure again. I do have a top water popper and I'm gonna try a new thing that I just learned which is a Texas rig. So I'll show you that. Let's get out on the water. Let's get some fishing and have an adventure. Okay we're out here on the water. We're gonna go to our first spot. Try it over here which is right there around those trees. Uh, you can see my fish finder is working. Yay! So I got depth. I have temperature. I think that's time, which is off. And down here is bottom depth. Uh, or no, voltage. That's voltage there. And then this is dual. I believe this is dual 80 and 200. It's on the screen right there. So, yay, we're working. All right. Um, I do have the uh, chest harness on today, so I'm gonna try and put you on the chest harness to catch uh, maybe some top water blow ups if I catch a bass, which would be really cool. And uh, it's supposed to be mm, maybe high 70s today, so it's gonna be an absolutely gorgeous day. It's already starting out beautiful. Let's go over here and check it out. Okay, I just got a bite. I'm using a um, wedding ring and I'm just trolling along and I'm seeing fish hit the top water. Doesn't feel big or huge, but still it's a fish. Let's see what we got. There he is. Whoa, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yay! Oh, a new species! Nice! Okay, for those of you that don't know what a wedding ring is, this is, it's got a little, uh, it's got a little ring right here in the middle looks like a wedding ring with some beads and it's got this spinner on it and i just put a little bait on it like that and i do a slow troll so i think that's what's hitting the top water out here yeah new species i think this is white bass or hybrid striper type fish i will have to look this up but I'm looking for the bigger ones, but that is nice. Awesome. All right, off we go. Ha ha, I got one. measurement just in case.
definitely over the 10, uh, at least 11. That's a keep. Good to go. Monster striper, check that out. <laughs> He's just that big. <laughs> okay, back you go. Boink. <laughs> that was crazy. I just hooked into a fish. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, come on. There we go. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> hooks in there all right i'm gonna get this guy off the hook and uh, kick him loose be right back there we go we got him off the hook nice little guy here we go i changed up i trolled around went across the lake and then came back to this side and um, didn't have any more bites didn't have any more crappies so i let the two that i had uh, go they were still alive and let them go for another day and so i'm just over here in uh, a new area trying out a new lure see if i can catch another bass well that was one let's try another one i just got hit but i got hit by a bigger fish this day it's a good one Woo! Ah, no don't get around that log He just got wrapped around the stick. Alright, we gotta go over there. Yeah, he's got it wrapped up pretty good. Let him loose. Come on. Nothing. Alright, let's get over there. See if we can get this unwrapped. Be right back. Lucky me, <laughs> got him unwrapped. All right, let's bring him in. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, somebody went by. There we go. It's my biggest bass yet. <laughs> nice one too. Look at that. And uh, he hit this little uh, swim bait rattle, something or other. <laughs> As you know, I'm not that experienced in this, but check that out. Good fish. There you go. Back in the water. Let's go get another one. Right there in the tree is an osprey, and he's got a fish. Yeah, he's talking to me, telling me I'm uh, in his area. That is cool. I think we'll call it a day here. We had a good day. And uh, it was absolutely gorgeous out. I'm watch where I'm going here. I think that's a catfish. Could be. Absolutely gorgeous day out. Got a few fish. Got a new species of fish. I think that's a white bass or a striper hybrid. I'll have to look that one up when I get home. Make sure I know what I'm talking about. Obviously, you can tell that uh, not uh, not quite knowledgeable on all the freshwater fishing for bass and striper and crappie. So I did catch two crappie. They were keepers. I went ahead and kicked those two loose because that's all I caught. I was hoping for a couple more for at least for dinner. I uh, did catch that small one. Uh, I did catch a couple of bass. That was pretty good. And um, yeah, just a gorgeous day to be outside. It was in the 70s, light breeze, beautiful day. So you get out there, you have your adventure, get some fresh air, get some exercise. Have a great day. So I think we'll call it good here. So thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe. Come back next week for another episode. And hopefully we'll get this fishing figured out and catch the big ones. And maybe I'll hook up with somebody that knows what they're doing and they can show me what to do. And... I want to make that trip down there to uh, Galveston Bay and hit some of those big drums. The red ones, black ones, flounder, the trout, you know, all the good stuff that's down there. So, call it good here. Thanks everybody. Don't forget, wherever you go and whatever you do, have fun. <laughs> as long as it's legal. Alright.